Hello, this is Brother Cromer from the Math Department, and this is at BYU-Idaho, and this is the supplemental video for dealing with SPSS commands for Lesson 3, Describing Data. And so first of all, I'm going to cover how to do a histogram, and then how to, how to use the Explore command. There's a lot of different things you can get from the Explore command. So first of all, here's, some, here's uh, a class survey data. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the histogram command. So I'm going to do graphs, legacy dialog, and histogram. And then what I'm going to do is let's take the heart rate data. I'm going to pop that in here. And then that's all you have to do. All you have to do is take this, click on this arrow here, and then it moves this over to the variable box. And then you click on OK, and then voila, you have a histogram. And then the next item is using the Explore command. So I'm going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same data. I'm going to use the heart rate data. Put that in the dependent list box. Now there's several things you can do with this here. If you click on Statistics, make sure that you click on Percentile so you can get especially the 25th and the 75th percentile. Click on Continue. And then you can also click on plus to get a whole bunch of different information here too. Um, we'll, we'll cover this later in terms of how to do a normality plot with tests. But you can also get a histogram as well here too. So we click on continue and then we click on OK. And then you have a whole slew of information from this point. You can get, you have the mean, the median, variance, standard deviation, the min, and the max. We clicked on percentile so we can get the 25th and the 75th percentile because that information is not listed here. If we did not click percentile, we would not have gotten this and we could not have gotten the 25th and the 75th percentile. We can also get a box plot as well too and this is the nice part about that. This is a representation of the, uh, the five-number summary. Now in this example, since we have a dot above and below, or dots above and below the whiskers, this here is actually the, me the minimum. This is Q1, this is the median, this is Q3, and then this point here is the maximum. These numbers here just represent, if you go back to the data set here, the row of where that observation lies. And that's the only thing, that's really what it is. It's just a point of reference for you. Okay? And so that concludes the Lesson 3 video dealing with SPSS commands for Lesson 3.